This is a piece of coral. And the very word coral probably brings to your mind a picture of sparkling clear waters in a lagoon with a coral reef towards the ocean and inland, a lovely beach of sand with palm trees. Well, a lot of corals are like that. But this coral comes from the dark waters 400 feet down, 150 meters deep, off the Scottish island of Minkalay. And they are very remarkable. The coral at Mingalay is a species called Lophelia pertusa, and Lophelia is a really important cold water coral in the Atlantic Ocean. It's found from north to south, and it builds complicated reefs and mounds that are the cities of the deep sea. And those cities are home to many, many other animal species. Lose the cities, you lose those other species. Over the last 20 years, we've been researching these corals. We know a lot more about how important they are than we ever did in the past. The more that is being discovered, the more we realise how precious and diverse and important and endangered these corals are. So the skeletons that these corals make are critical for the habitats that they build and the life that lives within them. Now importantly, these habitats aren't just made from live coral, but there's a huge amount of dead coral which sits beneath the live coral supporting it. And it's this dead coral that alarmingly is more vulnerable to ocean acidification. The carbon dioxide that man releases in rising quantities has not only increased ocean temperatures, but is also making them more acidic. It becomes ever more difficult for corals in deep cold waters to form calcium carbonate skeletons in an increasingly acidic environment. So what's going to happen is that these reef structures are going to become simpler and simpler and simpler as that foundation framework starts to crumble. And we can already see this right now happening. Only in the last few years have we discovered that these reefs are found across the globe from north to south, taking thousands or even millions of years to form. The reefs, in turn, create a rich habitat for many other species, from simple filter-feeding sponges to predatory sharks and other fish. But we are only beginning to understand this basic ecology. Observing cold water corals requires long-ranging voyages and advanced technology. As our knowledge grows of this previously hidden world, the extent of man's destruction of it becomes clearer. We live on planet ocean, and it's the ocean that's responsible for modulating the whole climate of the Earth. The ocean controls our weather patterns across the world. The ocean has absorbed over 90% of global heating. The ocean has absorbed about 25% of the carbon dioxide that we've released since the Industrial Revolution. But this means that the oceans are changing at a rate we've never seen before in Earth's history. All of this means an uncertain future for a world of wonder that we are only just beginning to reveal. As more people learn about these vulnerable species, we can work together to ensure that they're conserved for generations to come.